I'm going to show you how to do a hub overhaul here on a rear wheel. Pretty much like the front wheel. The front wheel is actually easier because you don't have the free wheel. First, pull the skewer off. Don't lose the spring. Just screw that back together. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and take the free wheel off. I have another video on how to pull the free wheel off. Basically, you just take a free wheel remover tool designed for your particular free wheel. Put it on there. So we got that off. Okay, once you have that off, now you got the the whole axle part uh, exposed here. So one thing you'll notice is uh, the rear wheel is not symmetrical. The front wheel is going to be symmetrical. You can have even spacer, you know, uh, like a cone and a lock nut on each side. On on the rear wheel, you'd have some spacers, and so you're going to want to remember which spacers went on which side. Um, you're going to have more spacers on the side where the free wheel was because it has to extend out farther. Okay, one thing you want to look at is how far the axle extends out past the lock nut. Kind of get a rough idea of how that is so that when you put it on, you can go ahead and start the first side on the, with that much gap on there. Okay, what I'm going to do is pull off one side. I'm going to go ahead with the side that the, the, the free, free wheel was not on. Um, I've got cone wrenches here which are very thin wrenches, which are very helpful because there's like a, a little notch on the cone uh, that a, a fatter wrench, like a crescent wrench, is not going to fit on. So you use the cone wrenches. And the 16 doesn't quite fit, or it's too big for that. So let's try the 15. And that's a nice fit there. So I put that on there. Just loosen the lock nut. Just get the lock nut removed. Pull that aside. Now there's a spacer. And what helps is to kind of put these things down in order to kind of like see that the order that they went in there. So there's a lock nut, a spacer, and now there's a cone. So I'll go ahead and remove the cone. Okay, this is the cone. Uh, it's like a little cone shape. It's got a race around there for the bearings. So that's what's on one side. Now I can go ahead and pull the, pull the axle out. So on the other side, I have some, again, a lock nut, a spacer, another lock nut, and then the cone. So I'll go ahead, put this on there, move the lock nut on this side. That loosened. moment. So I got a lock nut, a spacer, then I have the, another lock nut and the cone. So I'll go ahead and put that on there. Just this lock nut. And I go ahead and pull those off. So I have the lock nut and then the cone. So on this side, I have the big lock nut, a little bushing spacer, a smaller lock nut, and then the cone, and then there's the axle there. Okay, so now we got all those parts off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put them into the uh, paint thinner here. I got a can full of paint thinner. I put them all in there to get them all cleaned off. So now, set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and there's dust covers over here covering the bearings. So I'm getting a screwdriver to pop those off, throw that into the paint thinner, and I'll just take the, the bearings, pull those out, stick them off to the side. On the rear hub, on this rear hub, there's nine of them. That's pretty common. Flip over the other side. 
pop out the little dust ring, dust protector, and again pull the bearings out. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a little piece of paper towel, dip it in the uh, paint thinner, and I'm going to use this to clean out all the old grease. Out of the hub, flip it over, clean out all the old grease out of here. Then I'll take another paper towel and wipe, dry it out, both sides. If you really want to, you can get like a uh, paper towel or something and a stick or something and get down through the, the center there. That's pretty tough to do, but you can do it if you want. Okay, now you want to examine the races in here where the bearings go for any cracks or damage. I don't see any. Nothing on this side. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and stick this aside. Pull out the parts out of the paint thinner and dry them off. Clean them off. That's all the parts there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the, the cone and the spacers on the, the one side. I'm going to put it on the, the side that the freewheel is not on because that's the easiest to do. There's only one spacer. So first I'll screw on the cone and I'm going to screw it on a lot further than I need to, to, to put it on. So put down. Now I'll put the spacer and I'll put the lock nut on. Okay, so now we want to uh, get to where we have about the amount of axle out, outside the, the uh, lock nut that we want. And then I'll screw the cone back in towards the lock nut. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that into place. Now we'll set that off to the side. So now. We'll take the wheel, we're going to put a glob of grease in here around the race. Doesn't matter which side we're going to do yet. Do both of them, doesn't matter. So now I'll take brand new bearings that I have, that I bought, and they're pretty cheap. Uh, there's nine bearings on each side on the rear hub, and they cost a nickel a piece, so that's 90 cents. Ooh. So just start putting them in. The grease will hold them in place. Nine. So you see a nice little ring of uh, ball bearings around there. So now go ahead and just take the dust cover. Slide it into place and just tap it around the edges, it goes in place. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we've got all the bearings in and the dust caps on. We took the, the axle, we put the one side on, and that was the side that was for the, not the freewheel. So we'll go ahead, slide that into place. Now flip it over. And first we're going to take the cone from the other side. Screw that down onto the axle. It's easier to screw from the back side with the, where the nut, lock nut is. Screw that down until it touches 
the, bear, the bearings and it goes ahead and turns. Now we go ahead and we're going to take the small lock nut and we'll screw that down into place. Okay, what you want is to be able to turn the axle freely without it binding, but you also don't want play into there. So if you kind of move it around, so you want to be able to turn it in nice and smoothly, but not have it any, any play in there. So once you kind of get that, go ahead and take the cone wrench slide it on there and we're going to go ahead and uh, lock tighten the lock nut into the cone now double check again you want to turn it nice and freely and you don't want to play up oh, there's just a little bit of play so I'm going to go ahead loosen it again Again, to start over again, have it turn nice and smoothly, no play. Then take the lock nut. Tighten it into the, the cone. Make sure it turns smoothly. No play. Much better. So it turns them smoothly and there's no play in there. And you want to do that and you want to keep doing it because if you get it wrong it's just going to make things worse. So again I'm just going to go ahead tighten it just a little bit. And again, just double check it. Turns nice and smoothly, no play. Great. So now, slide the, the, the big bushing on, slide the other lock nut on. Tighten that, turn smoothly, no play, perfect. Okay, so now just take the freewheel and I'm just going to go ahead and spin that on. Take the freewheel tool, put that on there. Just snug that up. I just have to put on the skewer and I'm done.